Okay, here we are, uh, Wednesday, June 30th. This is uh, part 13 of our series of managing a package bee colony. And this hive we're going into is our three deep colony that we left the feeder in. And I said I was gonna come back on Wednesday and I was going to put the supers on no matter what. So, we're gonna see what has happened in here. Got a nice frog in there. Okay, let's see here. These have not done anything with the super and that's not, I mean, that's not surprising. see what it looks like under here. Okay, the feeder is not empty, but it's uh, it's gone down quite a bit. So let's see, we're gonna start at the outside frame here, see what this has given us, if anything, where they're at. Okay, so they're working on it. It's all nectar. That is all nectar. Okay, these two outside frames, we had moved them from, from uh, more the interior place. That one's coming along good. I'm just gonna spin this around, being that it's capping it. I'm gonna put this one on the very outside. Now the thing of it is when they cap, when bees cap, the only time they cap it is that the cells gotta be full. If they're not full, they won't cap it. So sometimes if you see your hives, it has some uncapped honey late in the season. Well, the only reason it's uncapped, it's not that it's not ripe, it's just that the cells aren't full. Okay, so this one is coming along well. That one was pretty much, I think it was pretty much empty uh, last, on Sunday. Uh, same with this one. Coming along nicely, filling up with nectar, that's coming along. All right, so I'm gonna call this, they're working on all the frames, so I'm gonna call this good to the point of I am going to remove this feeder Even though not quite, not quite empty, but I'm on it to. I'm gonna put these supers on because this nectar flow is going. My basswood trees are blooming, and they are. Uh, the tree sounds like it's alive with bees. It's just bees are all over it, so I'm getting a good nectar flow off of that, and I'm. Happy about that, that's working for me. So now I'm gonna take these and we're gonna space these out. I think I, I gotta add one more frame. Uh, and I do have one with me. It'll be a new frame. So maybe we'll try to put it more in the, more in the in, a little bit towards the inside, a little bit, just to make sure it gets drawn out, and it surely should with this nectar mm -hmm. flow happening. So we're gonna just space these all out, and we're gonna eyeball it to make sure we're happy with it. Count the frames, I believe there's eight here. I wanna make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is nine. Okay, we won't need that other frame. We're just gonna evenly space these out. Just give her the old evil eye.
Okay. Working on all the frames, that's perfect. And you see every frame has bees covering it, all completely covering it. So I think that has to say that that's probably the same on every frame in this hive. The population is that big now. That's just uh, normal for this time of year. <clears throat> Package B, this is probably not quite the peak population. It probably will be by, I don't know, July 10th maybe. It should be peak population. Now I see I put my queen excluder on here and I have all these and I'm, I'm going to put the queen excluder on because what I'm going to do, I'll take out one of these frames and I will go and uh, get a frame from another colony and uh, so that, that'll be the bait for them to go up. If you can see this here, this was from our uh, colony that we're going to check that. To, this is the top box of that uh, of our two deep colony, and you can see the there is some nectar in there, glistening and everything there. So they, this is on the out of the top box, so they are moving up into the top box already over there on that hive, and they've done a little bit on there. Being that that nectar's in there, that'll be our bait to get these to come up. Okay, and then we're gonna. Push the frames together so there's no funky comb happening. And I have to get one more super What's going on here. I don't know what's happening with my camera. We're probably losing the, the whole perspective here. Okay, so I put on this last uh, super. Let me get the camera off here so we get a little better perspective. Okay, so now our hive, the pop, or the uh, door's busy. Bees are fanning at the entrance. They are fanning there, if we can see that. Mm -hmm. All lined up there. They're dehumidifying all the honey, the nectar that's coming in. That's what's really happening. Plus it's a little warm out. So now this colony, so we're in three deeps. And we have two new supers on, and we'll put the uh, inner cover back on. All right, so now this colony will be will be set for a week. We're going to come back and check it in a week. And now we're going to do just go do a quick look at the other colony. Okay, with our, our two deep colony, we're going to do a quick check here, see how they're doing on the super. It's only been really three days since we've looked, and uh, the one thing what we have noticed here, I, I've removed this top uh, frame that went in the other colony. So now you can see, well, they, you can see the they are starting to draw this out. There is some, if you can see the nectar is kind of dribble, is kind of shiny in there. They are starting to go with it though. So I will put this uh, other frame that I took from the other one back in here, but we're going to look at this other colony, just to, or the other super, to see how it's doing. Remember, it had about six frames, six frames on it that were being worked on, and we're going to see how far they are. And you can do things to be, if you want to, to be creative here. We can move frames, full frames of the outside. working here and that frame is just getting going and look, if you look at this one middle frames they always do the middle frames first so they are starting to cap that Nice ripe, ripe honey. All right, well, we're just gonna put this back together. I was gonna maybe move some frames around, but I decided ah, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe next time, if they aren't doing, but because they are working on this, this is one of the outer frames here. They are working on this one here. We could even help them out. We'll turn it around. And we could put, if we want to, let's just put a, one they're not working on, we'll put that in the middle and then we're gonna, or over one. 
and we'll put that in just to make it interesting. They get after it. Probably a little bit better if you do that. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. Can we do something similar to that here? Let's just look. They're working on that. That, they're coming along really good there, both sides. I think I'm, let's just push the envelope. Being that we're just the started on this nectar flow, we can be a little, a little brave. I'll turn this one around. They're not quite far as on that one, and move this to the outside, and then we'll put an empty one on the outside. There we go. Oop. Okay, frames tight together. Other super on. Frames are tight together. And we are done. We're going to come back in a week. We're going to give it a whole week. And in a week, we'll probably be ready for two more supers if this nectar flow still happens. We did get about an inch and a quarter of rain here recently. So I think we're going to say that uh, um, they may be ready for it. Hopefully we'll get a bunch more flowers blooming. But anyways, well, thanks for watching. Bye.